What's up guys, it's Messi back with a brand new video and in today's video I'm actually going to be doing a supply drop opening. I've already recorded it so I'm sorry I couldn't get the reaction but it was late at night when I ended up getting this. But obviously as you can see I'm just going to be talking over on what I get and the whole kind of thing with supply drops in Infinite Warfare and let you know my opinion if I think they're good or if they think they're bad because I know there's a whole lot of controversy about it at the moment which... I don't know, I'm kind of okay with it at the moment because I've got everything that I want and it's not like that I've got everything I want so I'm okay with it but I'm just saying, you know what I mean, I've got, um, I've got like stuff that wasn't really too hard to get, like it's not, there's not many, there's not that many things to get like that are hard to get, you know what I mean, there's like melee weapons which are kind of pointless in the game, I don't really use them, obviously as you can see I just got that bottle one right there, uh, I did equip it, I do show you stuff in it like as well and also I did obviously get COD points and stuff like that because I just wanted to try them out, see how good the supply drops are in the game, I'm absolutely fine with supply drops as long as it's cosmetic stuff and not weapons, like as he, as you can see here, like it is absolutely like the camos and that are absolutely amazing in this game, and the weapon kits, the weapon kits are absolutely phenomenal. I'm just gonna actually show you a couple of them in a later video. Maybe I might make that video for tomorrow because I've actually got the assassin kit for the sniper. I know you've been seeing it probably quite a lot, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, but I do actually have a cold and I am ill. It's getting towards Christmas. I always get ill about this time, so. It does, it does suck. But obviously, there's the bottle. I'm just absolutely going to mad with it. I'm going to slice, slice, slice and dice. Slicing things, you know, it is quite cool. That's the only thing I have got, like the only melee weapon that I have got. And I'm pretty sure that's the like most popular one to get. I'm pretty sure it's not too hard to actually get in the game. But obviously, this is quite a long supply drop opening. So I show you everything about it. This diamond, well, not diamond, this Desert Eagle pistol looks absolutely amazing as well. I do really suggest grinding out this game and getting as many supply drops as possible so you can get all the like amazing camos and stuff like that because it really does show off like it does show it off in game which is absolutely amazing and I like how it already comes up saying like legendary epic and that so you can already see what you're going to get you can see if the supply drop is going to be good or if the supply drop is going to be bad but basically what you're actually looking for in this game is actually scrap or whatever them cogs are. You know, that's what you're looking for. I actually, just right then I did get the Zen camo for the snipers, which is absolutely amazing. I think I do show you. But yes, as you can see, it's grinding it up now and all your duplicates go to dismantled parts which are good because obviously that's what gets you the kind of stuff that you need so you can get new players you can get new camos and stuff with the dismantled parts so basically what you're actually hunting for in this game is actually you know you're actually hunting for duplicates which sounds really really bad but yeah that's what you're actually hunting for right now i know it's kind of pointless they should have just put dismantled parts in so you can buy them instead but you know i guess this makes it a bit better you can actually still unlock things through the supply drops and stuff like that i know it is I know a lot of people probably don't like it as much because it's not traditional COD 4 or anything like that, which I totally understand. I absolutely totally understand. You know, I just don't mind because this will make the game feel a lot better. Well, not feel a lot better, but have something to grind towards instead of just being the normal kill shakes like 3, 5, and 7. Obviously, I'm not going to adjust that or anything like that. But I mean, there's something to like grind for instead of just grinding for all the challenges you know what i mean we can have different camos we can have weapon kits we can stand out on our own have our own emblems have different titles it will be it's actually going to be good as long as they don't add no weapons i will not be fussed at all with what they do to this game if they add any more cosmetic stuff if they add any like anything else as long as it's cosmetics and weapon kits i really really could not care about like supply drops at all the best bit is supply drops aren't even that hard to get in this game either because when you like actually play a game it kind of varies i'm pretty sure like if you stay in the lobby for like a longer time you can get up to four like um whatever they are like i'm just gonna call them crypto keys because i don't actually have a clue what they're called i think they're called like deposits or something like that you can get up to four deposits but the main one's probably about two to three, maybe one sometimes. It depends because it all does depend on how you do in the game, I'm pretty sure. Because I've had games where I've like, joined the game and I get three deposits because I end up at the top of the leaderboards. Well, I hope that's how it works. It might just be a coincidence, but that's how I have seen it go at the moment. And this is probably going to be the only supply drop video you're going to see of me. I'm not going to start making them regular. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm not going to be spending my money on doing stuff like this. You know what I mean? I just wanted to do it just to show you guys what it's like if you have not seen it. If you have not open them get on the game open them up and also just have a great time have a good time going for them i've actually just been grinding this game out i'm actually third prestige so you'll be seeing a video on that this week or next week obviously when i mean it's sunday today but you'll be seeing it like this week 
coming up. And hopefully you guys are having a great time off school or off college, whatever you are doing right now, because I'm still at work, okay? I've got work tomorrow, so it kind of does suck. I break up on the 23rd, which isn't too bad, so I will be uploading over the Christmas period as well. If you want me to do any special videos, then obviously let me know on what I can do, and I will end up posting them. But like I said, let's get back to the supply drops, okay? There has been like a few things in this game which are kind of pointless i don't really see the whole point in like emblems titles yes emblems they're not too much of a big deal they're just i think they're just trying to chuck things in so that you don't get all the things that you want straight away if you open up like 50 of them but i'm pretty sure if you was to chuck a hundred pound into this game you could get every single item that you actually wanted i'm pretty sure that's like how low they are but the camos in this game like i said are absolutely phenomenal they are literally the best camos that i've seen i don't know what it is they stand out a bit more than black Ops 3 camos do when they were out and obviously there's a lot of things going on with Black Ops 3 with the supply drops and stuff like that when that was out obviously everyone was grinding about it they did say okay they did say that they was only adding cosmetics and they ended up adding weapons so hopefully hopefully they do not do this to this game I'm not too fussed if they do but I would rather that they didn't. If they do, please just add snipers. Add a few snipers in there. If you are going to do it, uh, Infinity Ward or Raven, whoever's going to adjust it, whatever is going on. But hopefully you don't. But like I said, we always got to stay positive and see what's going on. We won't know until it actually happens. Like, for God's sake, supply drops have only just started coming out and everyone's already bitching about it. So what we've got to do is just enjoy the game. It's a great time just to, like, you know, you see people with different cameras, you see people with different weapons kits, and if you see them in-game, it actually makes you want to grind for them. It actually makes you want to try and go for it and stuff like that because obviously if you see people with a new emblem or a new title you probably want to go for that as well and obviously that goes with the dismantled parts and all that it is not really a complicated process at all but you know that's what it is hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did don't forget to smash that like button down below subscribe if you are new if you did enjoy this video like i said like leave a like check out the other videos that are on screen right now it's been your boy mess and uh peace out